Oh, oh, it's CEO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's CEO. up? What's up? Dude. Cheers, no advisory podcast. CEO McLean. No, the show's more dangerous crew. Y'all know that goofy ass shit that CEO say Bang. every time he here. I'm but guess what? Bang. He ain't here today. Celebrating, celebrating. Hey. One of them type hey. Happy hey. anniversary to him and his real. wife. Happy anniversary, big dog. Right. Hell yeah. That's, that's black love right there. Oh, that is. Oh, what today is. Shout out to Miss Tanisha, bro. It's shout out, out G. No cap. Hey, shout out because you keep that nigga sane, man. That nigga got problems for real, man. That's my nigga. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga, though. You hear me? So shout them out and shit, man. And they jits they got, man. Shout yeah, them little niggas, okay. man. Shout out that's to the, them. That's the, the, the goal right here. I can't yeah. even do 10 months with that bitch. Let me do 10 years. That bitch gonna have some. Uh, yeah, shout out to Miss McClain. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. When he gets back next Wednesday, we're gonna have to ask McClain. <laughs> his secret. The secret of being yeah. married and <laughs> dealing with. What y'all think you gonna say? What y'all think? What y'all? What do patience. Y'all think? Patience. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like patience somebody, is and understanding. And the wife is always right. Somebody told me it's an endurance test, I man. Think. They said, uh, always. They said, choose your battles. They said, mm-hmm. shit. If it's something small, like this, that'll have her way. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Fuck it. And then when the show time needs some shit, she can't complain. Yeah. 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 And communication too. And, yeah. And keep it spicy. You feel me? Y'all know yeah. what I mean. Keep it and spicy. And loyalty. Oh, I wonder. I mean, yeah, loyalty too. Not but you know. To okay. We. Yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Trap C. It's your boy Sleaze. It's the one only classic Coco. And it's your boy Mookie, immature rock star comedian of the world, not just the city, but, but the, the world. world. So yeah. So we we kind of lit already. Y'all see, we got the new vibes we punch. We've been taking some shots. Pew, pew. We gonna have a repeat. Oh, my nigga okay. Shaggy just walked Shaggy in the building. In the with a play, hey, I'm glad Cuz came too. I ain't gonna lie. I, you ain't seen you. I said, you. I said oh, let me get that. <laughs> with the Waikisha <laughs> hat though. That. Okay. You ain't got no Waikisha though. These nuts. Waikisha. Listen, my nuts over there. Guess, I'm talking shit. We gotta guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I guess, should I just go ahead and hop into what? With the birthdays hot and shit. Birthdays, hell yeah. Hell All right, yeah. so we're going to go ahead. Hop- yeah, oh, shit, the we got Ron in the... Oh, okay. Yeah, shit. No. Hey, hey. The full crew shout my nigga out. Shout my nigga out. Keep it heavy on the reel. Heavy on the reel. Heavy on the content. Hey, hey. Yeah, I it. Shout my nigga out. Content. And, and he had bars on Crunch the, on the notion. Yes. He had bars, nigga. Niggas was in that hey. bitch saying, ooh, we and he got a strong man. And he did that Turn shirt on right now. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Strong man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck you the time my little strong yeah for all the skinny niggas out there. I, yeah, y'all know what time it is. Yeah. But we getting into these B days though, trap. I'm weak, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. It's only really one relevant celebrity birthday today. Portia Williams. That coochie Ooh. old now. She turned 41. Portia though, the Portia. Listen. She a stallion though. I gotta give it to Portia. Uh, I ain't know. She from Portia. Real Housewives watch of shows. Atlanta. Where she look? I ain't on. Hey, hey, shit. when you see her, don't, don't, don't look host. up. Don't look up. I ain't watched the housewife for shit yeah. yet. I don't know and who she, is. And she on the radio. She on the radio. That's why I know she on the radio. She got see, a, I probably um, know what she like sound Ricky. like, but I don't know what she looking like. She got like. a yeah, I think like Ricky channel. Though, yeah, like Ricky, Ricky Smiley yeah, in the morning yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I fuck with Ricky Smiley. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I met fucking head crack doing this event and shit and got down tapped in. Okay. All right, well. Speaking of tapping in, we're gonna go ahead and tap into some of these hot topics because a lot of shit went down. Y'all remember um Dante Wright, the teen, he wasn't teen, he was 20 in um Minnesota that got gunned down by the police officer Kim Porter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, guess what? His family is receiving a three point two million dollar like settlement following his death or wrongful death in a civil case, and then y'all know in a criminal sphere, um, you messing up the live, Shaggy. Right. <laughs> on the criminal spirit, she was sentenced to two years. So, yeah. Moving on, um, Uvalde, Texas. I know we all remember what happened at Rob Elementary, mm-hmm. the tragic Wish we school didn't. shooting. Right, that shit was sad. That that, all crazy. of that shit could have been avoided. But yeah. I digress. Yeah. The mayor of Uvalde has announced that they are just going to tear down the school. He said, in in mm-hmm. all honesty, you can never ask anybody to return there because of what happened, because Trauma. it was so traumatic. Yeah. What about Columbia High? I mean, I mean, not Columbia High, but uh, Columbine High, and all them other shoes. But, but no, I guess that's on them. him, though, right? In Texas, that's right? On him, that's yeah. on him, though. He's saying, like, fuck yeah, it. So that's on other people to, to say, yeah. hey, no, nah, hold on. I'll fuck with that idea. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, he feel he, like in order for the community to better heal, is it would just help the healing process. They were trying to erase this shit. They were not trying to erase it. But they going to build something. We ain't kill a whole bunch of kids and children over there. He is, though. Yeah. Like, bro, make that a museum or something like, like somebody gonna be like, I ain't saying nobody got to go back in that building though, but it's memories in that building. I don't know if they wanna, yeah. I don't know, I don't know Whether if it's a good or a bad or idea. Sad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No I mean, I don't know. 
I honestly know. agree with the mayor. Tear that shit down. I do too. Like that shit is like a haunted place. Like yeah. so many memories and just. I just say, it. but I, I guess know. on the same by the same mm-hmm. token, like if which I, I personally I feel like that's a great idea. Like I feel like that constant cloud over that school is always going to be a reminder. Not saying that they're trying to like erase the history, like you said, but just in a sense of healing. Like sometimes it's better to just. Like if you don't see shit, you don't think about shit. That's true. Yeah. Not out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Like not saying that we trying to erase it or we trying to forget. Nobody's trying to forget. It's just a way to help the community heal. But by the same token, like I get that. Like if you gonna do that to Rob Elementary, why you didn't do that to Sandy Hook when all the kids died? Yeah, you gotta do it for everything. That's what I'm saying. Like you. You gotta take away. What did I say? That was in Texas. Listen. No, Sandy Hook was there. You gotta do that to the. You gotta do that to the. I'm saying. No, it's in a different place. This man stepping out there saying, yeah, you know what, this is for the community. Leadership. So it's yeah. up to the community. And he's Hispanic, folks. too, and so, majority yeah. of that community is Hispanic. You see what Hispanic, I'm saying? So he relates to the... So he's kind of yeah. like, hey, let me step and do this for the community. We're going to probably still honor the kids, but Connecticut and everybody else got to, if they want to, get on board. You feel what I'm saying? So... What my dog? Right here. Oh. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just one of them. No, about So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just one of them type things. Though. People need to get on board. You feel me? So yeah, moving on. All this shit, Sam. I'm just pre warning mm-hmm. y'all. Moving on. Um, y'all know who Lil Tay J is? Yeah, yeah. The rapper. Yeah, yeah he got shot. My phone. Yeah, he got shot in Edgewater, New Jersey last night. Him and actually somebody else. There was somebody else that not gonna release the name, but him and another victim were shot last night. He had to go emergency surgery early this morning. Um, he made it out of surgery. He is stable, but they are still monitoring his condition. So speedy recoveries, prayer out to you, Lil Tay J, because that's fucked yeah, up. Prayers like. up, bro. Go on. Prayers up. Yeah. Speaking of fucked up, I wish I'd leave Cosby ass alone. Yeah. Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby. He was just ordered to pay this lady, Judy Hood, five hundred thousand dollars for molesting her when she was sixteen years old in the Playboy Mansion. Fuck out of here. They need to so now, like, wait, let me, let me, let me tell you this. So this happened in 1975 in the Playboy Mansion. She was 16 years old. She alleges now we, and this is a criminal suit. This, so this is, is not. I mean, this is a. She civil need to be suit. suing Playboy, not fucking Bill Cosby. But that's okay. Now Playboy that's, still is a brand. Yeah, and that's and I'm gonna get into that. Okay, so this, like I said, it happened in 1975. She was 16 years old. She was at the Playboy Mansion for a party. Bill Cosby and a lot of other celebrities were there. Um, she said that Bill Cosby noticed her, made conversation. He kept trying to put his hand down her tight pants, and she went as far as to I'm say, that "Put him off." Yeah, he uh-huh. was. <laughs> she went as far as to say, "Like I'm on my menstrual cycle," and he still didn't give a fuck. He was like, I still want to taste that pudding pop. <laughs> Fruit punch. <laughs> Strawberry. <Yeah. laughs> Cherry. Cherry pudding pop. <laughs> Delicious. Ew. He said, okay, okay, I can do that. So, yeah, so she said that she um, asked him to stop multiple times and then eventually ended up molesting her. She cried after the fact, and this was in 1975, but... She just came out about this allegation in 2020. <laughs> wow. Okay. So she's 64 years old now, and she's getting $500. She realized. She, started, she, she seen her motherfucking uh, Medicare check. She said, that's all I'm going to is $1,100 a month. Nope. Bill did Man, it. Bill did it. Yeah, give me that nigga. Don't give me Wait, that nigga Bill number. What the fuck you talking right. about? William Cosby William put his hands on my pants when I was on my period. But my thing is this, so this like, the thing. It wasn't a criminal case. It was a civil case. Okay. So it was more of he say, she say, but they are alleging that there is a witness that they deposed that can verify these results because somebody actually saw her crying after the fact and asked her what was wrong and she told them and their response was well there's nothing you can do he's a celebrity you're nobody Ooh-wee, so they need to get nobody food. talks like that first of all this oh, was God. in 1975 though nobody taught it and you have to understand these are palm colored people yeah nobody okay. talks like that he's a celebrity this, listen man. nobody talks Bill ain't like it, that man. bro a white black man. I ain't gonna lie. If Bill you're a white man, if you're a white woman, Bill and he's a black that, person, he probably did it. I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. She threw that pussy at Bill. What, my, what my, issue, is we in? my issue Bill with this is in the at... '70s, y'all do a helicopter. My issue is why are you 15, 16 at a Playboy mansion? Where the fuck are your parents? Thank you. So let's. Talk. Why is your parents out here letting you be out I here said with this. all perverted ass mm-hmm. men that they know prey on young at women? Yo, daddy got Playboy. At the Playboy mansion. When kids, when kids out here breaking laws like this, y'all. My my suggestion. Is that start locking their parents up? Yeah. If, if you want, if a child want to commit uh, mass murder and start shooting up schools, if a child want to go and uh, 
uh, do all this dumb ass shit. Start locking up their parents, bro. Yeah, like, they, they do. They do. They evaluate the parents. Thank you. Cause like, that's, but R.I.P. if they you raising these motherfuckers. And it's, it's happening yeah. on your clock. This is shit is happening on your time. These niggas is making bombs, building guns on your time, my nigga. Words you not monitoring your kids. All them parents was shut the fuck up, mom. You yeah. better start whooping them. You better start yeah. popping them kids and they fucking Oh, you going to be in jail yeah, for the fucking shit. Your that's daughter what, that's was hiding the ass. Oh, we, like, that's why I can't have no kid right now. What? Man, <gasps> listen. Hiding yeah. the ass. Somebody, can somebody go get the door for our guests, listen. please? And then one thing I'm going to say, one thing I'm going to say, right, mom. is my thing is this. Bill in the 70s was up. Just like right now, how females be like, oh, if I saw a little man, listen, I'll throw that motherfucker at me. You feel me? That's exactly how women was they in 1975. Was, and they was just straight like that. you know. And they were coked up No a wax, bit. coochies, nothing. Just, Listen, just hair and presses and, and free, so and you feel free what I'm on saying, coke. Though. You dig what I'm saying? So it's kind of one of them things to where it's like, shit. Bill probably, I ain't going to say he, you know what I mean? But Speaking come of on coke, now. You threw that motherfucking. Chris you Brown. Threw that ch- Speaking of coke. That motherfucker Chris Brown on that bag. Chris bad. Brown Chris on Brown, that do bag, better, baby. What's up, gang? What's up with it? But hold on. Let's not let's not act like we ain't been through that, though. We but, did know okay. that, but he's on that but shit no, bad, bad now. now. You he's, see that shit. So oh, y'all no. accepted it. His- and you know we what? ain't never say we accepted it's that shit. We said somebody that said shit. that oh he he's very creative. He does like he's very productive. I don't y'all give a see, fuck. Y'all see his million that dollars worth of game interviews. That shit. What I'm saying though. That nigga is a whole addict now. now. Hold up, time out though. But I, I, I guess I ain't. I don't really watch the man like that. But I'm saying I just saw the interview he did. He looked healthy. Shit, I guess he looked bad. Yeah, my bad. I didn't know. I was thinking Chris Brown. Chris Brown. I thought he looked healthy. He on that bag. Bad. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, my thing yeah, is I don't, this, man. I don't, man shit, I don't if he know. came in there right now, y'all still going to throw kill. that muck. You but know what I'm saying? I ain't say I wouldn't, though. I'm just saying, him, get off that shit. Yeah. I Listen, he going to be like, I was on it before you. I will fuck you one time on the bag. You Chris Brown. Chris giving out coke dick around. Listen, okay, I, don't so know. Fuck, I ain't never did Park coke. Park I ain't Park. never did coke. I ain't never did crack. I ain't never did it. I ain't yeah. never did no powder, but I did a pill, and I don't know if your dick gonna always work on them motherfuckers, man. So <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> I don't you know. On that perk or you on that? Yeah, nah, that perk is so serious. That sweet tart, yo, damn, I'm gonna be a motherfucker. You gonna be fucking like a rabbit for hours all night. That um that sweet tart. I'm cool on that shit. Which one? Okay. But that's it for uh hot topics. We're gonna go ahead and get into the word of the day. It's yeah, time for the word of the day. It's time for the word of the day. Hey, it's time for the word of the day. Hey, it's time for the word, it's time for the word, it's time for the word of the day. Hey, hey. Oh, y'all know how this shit go. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some uh uh we got a definition. Last did y'all get the last week? No. Hell no. I feel like we did. Nah, no, we didn't, but I got, it the we week before. I got it the week before, though. She, she thirsty. She did. That was your first time in like 17 Not weeks thirsty. to go ahead. But that's all right. That's all right. You, it was recent. It was recent. So the, the definition is using very few words. Hmm? Using very few words. Say it not very few words. Mm-hmm. Just like using the definition. Using very few words. That's mm-hmm. the definition? That's the definition. Just like the definition, using very few words. What did it start with? I'm using very few words yeah, today. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 Let's start with it. Yeah, L. hold on. We got a mic. If you, if we gonna pass it around, we gonna see if the audience know. We gonna pass the mic around. If you don't wanna say it, tell me. I, I'll be getting it. Hey. Uh uh-uh. uh. Set that up. Y'all got any guesses? Definition meaning using very few words. The definition is using very using, few using very few words. words. Vague. Nope. Nope. That was a good guess. Yeah. That was good. Y'all. I'm sorry. Nope. Listen, man, my job, what I do is I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm expand your vocabulary, you feel me? It ain't going to be shit that's already in your, your repertoire. It ain't going to be shit that, you feel me? This shit going to be, I'm about to add this shit to y'all, y'all mean? Okay, y'all. So what's the word? A L? Oh, um, late. Well, loquacious mean to talk a lot. So is it in that same family? Y'all, 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 too, y'all guessing too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it to y'all. <laughs> it's laconic. L-A-C-O-N-I-C. Huh? Laconic. Laconic. Spell yeah. it again. L A C O N I C. Okay. That ain't what my that ain't what my uh, last girl that did had sex told me. <laughs> she told me she pulled out on pants and said, "I was like, damn, the little pussy putty, that pussy putty." I said, "That pussy, that pussy <laughs> pretty." I couldn't even talk. I got. I started thinking about it. That shit was it gave me flashback. I'm like, "That that pussy pretty." She said, "Yeah, go ahead and look on it." Hey, say it again, gang. Y'all yeah, missed it. Yeah, I said that little pussy. That little pussy pretty. She said, go ahead and lick on it. <laughs> you hear me? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell me what 
tell a stand on that. I don't know how I can use stand on it. Okay, what I'm about to say is corny as fuck. All right, so my homegirl, she couldn't fuck with a nigga because he had a little con dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because he had a little con dick. So say the word one more time, gang. Laconic. She added a D in that motherfucker for sure. Now you know everything else. You have to go down low. Instead of a, what the fuck is that? Yo, Mexican music. Oh, yo. She talking about look kind of dead, and they start playing Latin music. <laughs> yeah. So we you start reggae in, in ew, here today. Ew, what ew, the fuck? Ew. Really, nigga? <laughs> I can't think of no was, sense here. I don't, let me think. Laconic. How you say How you say the word? Laconic. L-A-C-O-N-I-E. Laconic. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh. They be like, uh, what's your favorite type of liquor to drink? Laconic. Like, okay. <laughs> Laconic. <laughs> I'm going to just do myself. I'm going to just do myself. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Cognac. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. I, just, okay. I drink a little. I drink a little Hennessy, you know, a little kind. Yeah, a little kind. Okay, for sure. You might give yourself a, a okay. It's too late. I already really, got nigga? Yeah, because yeah, I, I fucked with. Really, I ain't nigga? got one. I ain't got one. So say less. Are we? So what's? Oh, y'all want to do it? What? No, nah, we gotta say the inspiration yeah, for less. Yeah, you yeah, know, we be talking real crazy. Yeah, you right. need that that good Ooh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I say some shit. Then we gotta get. You gotta. Uh, you gotta. What would you do? Yeah, yeah. I got one. If we need one. Need one. Say less. I got one. <laughs> we're talking about all that. day. I took all work to think about that. I said shit. No, I, I didn't. My bad. It ain't that good. If it ain't that good, I ain't take off. <laughs> now I saw you. You gonna say the motivation? For, are you gonna, uh-huh. What we gonna do? Y'all don't got no. What would you do? I mean shit. Yeah, I mean hell, hell. hell no. I feel honest. like we talked about my I'm shit off honest. camera. Cause I was gonna say some shit. All right, I, I got a, I got a. What would you do? <laughs> and this is a situation that really happened, not to me, but to my home yeah, girl. Yeah, you say one. You say one. All right, what would you do? It's really a question for the guys, though, right? Like, you and this girl been friends, like, since kids. Mm-hmm. He started talking to this older girl, right? She, like, in her 40s. Mm-hmm. Y'all, like, in y'all 20s. Okay. Your birthday just passed. Like, okay. you're the girl now. Well, this is the girl. The girl, my homegirl's birthday just passed. Mm-hmm. Her friend, which is really, like, her best friend, came out to celebrate with her, right? For her birthday. Mm. The girl that he talks to, the older woman, got mad and called my friend and said, I don't feel comfortable with you hanging out with my man. That's on your don't sit your old ass down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, fuck. For you die. What's wrong with you? For you die. She be she gonna get a colonoscopy or something. At 40, 40 with four kids. 40 <laughs> with four that. kids. Yeah. Good step like daddy. Already have hold on, we gotta let her yeah. What's the rest? She too old. First of all, she's too old. Hold up. Was that it? No. Was that it? Hold on. We gotta let we gotta listen it's to the rest because I need to get the full detail before I say what I say. So my friend doesn't pay that any attention because bitch, you're 40 and you're miserable. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried mm-hmm. about you. Mm-hmm. She finna she put, put, put that pussy on. She finna put that pussy on that night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, they really they never did anything. They just friends. Like platonic ass friends. Oh, I'm talking about the 40 year old. Let me take it back. Oh, probably. My bad. Okay, but the 40 year old. Shows up to your friend's house. Mm. What would you do? I'd snap on the 40 year old. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, hold on. I know, I'm gonna, leaving okay, now. Okay, hold on. You, yeah. Yeah. you done pulled up on property already. Say, let you can go because I, I know That's it. I know cool. it. I'm, yeah, I'm, and I'm leaving her alone. Too. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, confrontational this already. Yeah, I ain't. Yeah. I, ain't I don't do all that shit. I ain't fucking with you. you that mean, that, no. you just showed your sign early. You showed your. Oh, and this is my homegirl. I ain't fuck. Yeah. Man, listen. I ain't going. Because she, my homegirl, loyal. You hey, feel me? You knew. And she might beat your ass for real, for real. Like, you feel me? Because if she ain't got them hands, I probably ain't gonna fuck with her like that. I'm like, hey, you better get your ass beat. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna let her know. You talking that shit, she might whoop your ass. <laughs> so might, you better just let her chill, 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 chill out. out. Chill out, girl. She that can't fight. Right. <laughs> Listen. Especially putting them to somebody's house. But y'all didn't see that one nigga post, and he got bust all in his mouth and shit. He said, man, look, I didn't stood up for the girl I loved, and he didn't knock me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn. She was in the background laughing. He said, bitch, you laughed out and hit you in your lip. <laughs> I said, shit. Mm, that's you, should, you should you gotta shoot that nigga. Man. Okay, <laughs> hey. what what would you do if you meet this girl on Bumble 
it's for the guys and for the ladies in here. You meet a guy on Bumble. Guys, you meet a girl mm-hmm. on Bumble. She fine as hell. Y'all talking. Y'all mm-hmm. exchange numbers. Y'all mm-hmm. texting. Y'all done set up a date. Like, boom, mm-hmm. you're going to take Shorty out on a date. If you're a girl in here, the dude going to take you on a date. Right. You meet up. Y'all having a great time, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't have sex. Okay. Right? Y'all continue to text. Two weeks later, y'all really feeling each other. Like, y'all texting heavy. Y'all on the phone. Y'all making plans to see each other again. Bam, she hit the, She hit you with the, I got to tell you something. You like, what the fuck is this bitch going to tell me? I don't <laughs> even know this no bitch for three shit. weeks. She tell you, I'm a man. Um, we fighting. Yeah, we fighting. <laughs> we fighting. We fighting. Bitch, I took you outside. What you doing? Yeah, I said, I said, nah, nah, y'all ain't hey, fucked. We ain't I'm playing. Hey, hey, I ain't even hearing. You had every answer. Hey, hey, you had every answer. I'm bubbling. I'm listen. I'm gonna start boiling, right? I'm gonna start sweating. Like I'm gonna instantly start sweating, right? Play with that <laughs> pussy already. No, a, you yeah. did nothing. So like, we ain't never okay. nothing. Um, but, still, but I gave oh, you time. But if that oh, dick is off, that dick was tucked on the date. But if that, that's 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 that shit was short, it ain't even gone. It was tucked. No, it ain't. Lord, either way, either way, go listen. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because I'm gonna start sweating, right? And I'm gonna start thinking, calculate. I'm like, you know what? It's cool. It's cool. Listen. Let's, let's talk about this face to face, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. let's, 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 let's listen. It can't be right, that bad. <laughs> let's talk about this face to face, man. You feel me? It ain't even that problem. It ain't even that much big of a problem. It big of a deal. When I see that nigga, man, it's gonna be a big hey. fucking deal. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a big, big fucking deal, deal nigga. Oh, hey. It's gonna be a hey, big listen, fucking listen, deal, man. Cause that shit, man. Listen, that shit right there. I ain't gonna kill the nigga. Wild. But see, niggas need to like, man. Niggas gotta know, man. You feel me? Like, hey. Cause you that tricking shit. nigga. That's that's listen. Listen. That ain't I, right. I'm gonna say like this. I grew up in. And Chicago. niggas, if y'all out here getting BDLs, nigga, if y'all getting Brazilian dick lifts, you just as guilty. You a trans man too, bitch. That. You got to you walk around here with that. a deal, though. I ain't never heard you of that. You walk around here with a strap on, nigga. What what happened? They what niggas is out here getting dick lifts, bro. I ain't never heard that either. Never heard of y'all that. Heard about that shit? Yeah. No, I didn't niggas out here getting dick lifts, man. Wow. Look at her. Yes, I heard about yeah. it. Yeah. They they, they, they add girth to your shit and then they add girth to your shit and make it drop a little bit. Fuck that shit, man. Wow. Rock with the dick guy. Hey, hey, but God you know gave me hey, a dick, hey, and that's hey, the dick hey. I'm sticking with. But, gang, I'm going to say one thing, though. You know what? I hope them niggas. I'm hey, but, hey, hey, God gang. Me hey. But listen to this, though. I hope any nigga that do that running to every girl with a BBL, folks, because they on the same playing field. They on the same playing field. You was built like a stick, Ooh. or you was built like a potato, bitch. Stop playing with me. So now you look like that, and a lot of y'all, when, we, when you. I, I don't even want to say this sounding crazy. If y'all are a certain surreal. size and y'all get that shit taken away, get y'all head. Y'all head yeah. out here big as hell. Rockwaller, pit I bull, mean, bull, bull dog head. Bing, 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 bing. You better be like a song. bully. Get a motherfucking goddamn. Get it out your neck. Yeah, you need to start. Your <laughs> bones a little bit. My thing is. Listen. Because we can tell by your elbows if you had one. One, two. Do some neck exercise. We can tell by your motherfucking elbows if you had one, man. You feel me? I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie. Oh we can tell God. by your motherfucking elbow. Now we just talking about we're women. Whoa. Oh, I'm not talking about men. Pause. Oh no, nah, if they do it, sometimes you can see if they Any belly. Man, I don't give I seen a bitch. I seen a bitch belly button in her sternum, do. dog. Hey, Wilch, I seen a bitch belly button in her sternum, nigga. Listen. Like, <laughs> hey, and then if y'all do that shit and gotta get y'all belly buttons made, tell them just stop cutting Ooh. a slit. Ooh. They pull that motherfucker. Ugh. Ugh. They pull that motherfucker. And then my thing bitch. is this. God damn it, while we own it, fuck it. Hey, listen. If y'all gonna own y'all C section, own it. Stop trying to get a tattoo covered up. Like a Stop trying to get a motherfucking tattoo covered up on that shit. Hey, listen. I'm gonna just call it out. Your fuck son it. got a big ass head. Daughter got a big ass head. Listen, we know what's up. <laughs> Niggas don't give a fuck. Let's be real. You been that motherfucker over? All we see is pussy and ass. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? That's a fact. Bing bong. You hear me? So fuck it. Do what y'all do, man. Shit. Y'all and, I, gotta... and I hit your ass with the shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Just take that bra off. <laughs> that's it, that's all. Have one of them shirts on that ass shirt hanging out. For a grab. You got one of them shirts off with that ass hanging out. See what happened. Oh, oh, you wanna. We know that little snuggle back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, when I pull his dick okay. out, don't say nothing. <laughs> we gonna don't say ahead. what you doing. And move on to the inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. inspiration. I used to inspiration. not trust girls yeah. that swim in shirts. That's the fucking shirt. Just like I ain't trust niggas that swim in shirts. Oh, I don't trust no nigga that swim in socks. <laughs> That's weird. Now, niggas that's do weird. that. My thing is this. Niggas, niggas just do keep, that. I'm going to tell you like this. I seen a nigga at Lake Norman she with some fucking with socks yeah, on. Yeah, that don't make sense. I don't trust that nigga. What if yeah. his feet look like, I, holy I, goddamn? I, mean, I don't care. You know how may scream at that nigga. Y'all don't care if they feet look like. I played basketball, so I seen niggas with feet like, hey, bro, cover them shits the fuck up when niggas walk in the room. And I'm a man. Right. And I'm a grown man. 
and it bothered me. So as a female, it had to, nigga. Why y'all? I'm gonna be real. Why I know listen. niggas feet be ugly, so I really don't give a so fuck. So y'all, so that's a pass that niggas get if they got ugly feet. If y'all shit pass, too ugly, she said no. Nah, listen, if get you them got ugly feet. Shit. It's the beach. Cause my thing is this: yeah. if you a woman with ugly feet, it's I'm gonna let you. It, I'm gonna let you know. I I can't listen. It's I I gotta just hit you from the back because your legs near my head is a problem. We gonna need we need some motherfucking what's it called inspiration. Ash can. What you need? Ash can. That's good. No, it's more. Now right they here. took the tray when they upgraded. Okay. We have some more cups for our guests. We can get them some punch. We got one. I ain't going to hug. I'll tell you, homie. Okay. Okay. I, got, yeah. I got a real light inspo of the... I got a real light inspo of the Coco Day. Oh, what the fuck am I... You drunk. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, this the cup. Here going two more cups. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, oh, wait. Yep. If y'all oh, want wait. some punch. This one at the bottom. <laughs> the inspo oh. by Coco. By Coco. What's up, man? Give me some. Give me something that I can cheer up to. You feel me? That hey, I can tell my people that work. Give me something I can drop a gym. So we done, we done talked about trans, <laughs> having messing with trans oh, people. Yeah. So this inspo by Copo, be oh, selective with your battles. Sometimes peace is better than being right. Mm. And on God. So Ass. it go back to when a woman, it, man, just got to say, hey, you know what? Pick my battles. Yeah. Pick my motherfucking Ooh, battles. Say you that got again, Coco. Uh-huh. All right. So be selective with your battles. Sometimes peace is better than being right. Man, bro, what? I was just arguing with somebody, now, and uh, this is my actually my dog. I don't want to say her name, though, because she ain't even the type of person that I, I would. This is the last person I would expect to argue with me over this shit. But I'm like, cause she, cause she, how healthy she is. But uh, I posted that picture of Pinky back in the day, Ooh. and I posted that picture of Pinky Whoa. how she looked now. Yeah. And I'm like, this is a lot of y'all reality. It is. I ain't say females. I ain't say I did not. I did, huh? That picture wild as fuck, right? I did not. I did not specify gender. I ain't. I ain't say fat. I ain't say no shame. I said this is a lot of y'all's reality. If y'all don't keep, if y'all clubbing every night, yeah, y'all uh, eating, eating unhealthy, drinking it's like true, a fish, and not a gym membership, right? I ain't say not gender, not nothing. She like, I can't believe you, uh, like don't be body shaming. I'm like, I ain't body shaming. Shit, I'm like the black. I'm like, shit, motherfucking heart diabetes and heart disease is the number one killer of black people. You exactly. feel me? Exactly. Like, that's, that's 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 just what it is. Like that's that's the mm -hmm. fact. I'm like, if you don't work out, you gotta eat healthy. If you don't eat healthy. You might as well work out. Like, you feel me? Like, that's the only way. Or else you're going to die of a stroke or something like that at an early age. I mean, I know some people that ain't. You know what I mean? But they just like rare people. But I had an argument with this girl about an hour long, y'all. This is to say you right. And I'm over here again. Boy, I'm like, I'm trying to say the world and shit. And bitch, you ever argue with me like about like over some shit that you know I'm right about. But I should have just chose peace that day. And it's like, yeah. if she ain't, you feel me? I should have just chose peace. Like, if you want to fuck your life up and get a... I didn't got into back and forth about kind of, you know what I'm saying, shit like that as well, you feel me? And it's kind of like, in when, when niggas talking in general, you feel what I'm saying? Some women may take it out of content, but then it's the thing. It's the, we, we get it. We get heated because we like, damn, we not saying nothing about you. We just saying, saying in, in general. general. You know what I'm saying? No, she was a, wait, she was a, she was a fitness trainer. <laughs> Okay. I'm like, okay. See, she was coming from the insecurities of her people her, she trained. Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. So I was like, I was like, coming yeah. from. She coming from the yeah. insecurities of her people she trained. You feel? Yeah. Like, so she that's, not that's big. She ain't have a BBL. And yeah, none of those. And it, but another thing she said, she was like, uh, I was like, people eat to get full too. That's something we ain't supposed to do. That's like she was like, yeah, I, I, I was like, I, I said that she was like, if I work an eight hour shift, I'm gonna eat to get full. I was like, that's gluttonous. I'm like, that's a sin for people like you. I was like, we feel me? Oh but I'm hearing it with facts. I be sending all the time. Yeah, you eat for fuel, not full. Nobody's yeah, supposed to get yeah. full. You're not supposed to be like, I ain't, I ain't full. I need to keep eating. Like, like, no. I had to my pants. I'm saying, get that's, that's a sin. Y'all are sinning. Wait, so if we eat to get full. That's a that's sin. A sin. You are not supposed you eat for fuel. Wait, Everybody be like, I'm well, full I'm right now. supposed to eat enough to hungry. satisfy your hunger. Yeah. You're to, not supposed to be like, ooh, I'm stuffed. I need to go home and lay down. Yeah, that's all this is going to make oh, you do is go sleep. Yeah, because sometimes be having itis. Because you, you know, fool. Like, hey, <laughs> but you can't move. But my thing is this, though, shit. That's the easiest way to burn calories is go to sleep. I learned that from Sia last week. Burn, for huh? real. Go to sleep. You learn, learn uh, you burn calories by sleeping. Oh yeah, sleeping, swimming, and fucking. Listen, so I'm for real. Them the best three ways to burn calories. How do you not burn calories? I'm not even gonna say. You can't that. not burn calories. You constantly burn calories. Just by living. Damn, you can burn calories in your sleep. Yeah, you yeah. actually burn more calories in yeah. your sleep. Yeah. Yeah. When I be fighting, I be fighting my dream in the morning. We all look at him. We all have him at your ass. Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> Wake up sweating in his <laughs> Y'all up here thin as hell. What y'all be on? I swear, I be having some vivid well, ass hey, dreams. Hey, move, move, look, look. Fucking running and shit. Y'all up here. Everybody adventures. in here kind of thin. What y'all? Everybody want to confess something? Niggas in here thin as hell. Me, I, 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 me, I didn't gain weight. I didn't gain I weight. weight. I've been in the house. 
Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I need to get back CrossFit to is like one of the hardest workout things ever. Listen, my thing is, <laughs> nigga want a good ad workout, man. Shit, get on, man. Listen. Mm hmm. That was our like inspiration. How we going this wild shit? No inspiration. We, man, it's the bad kids club. You know, crazy. the CEO now here. We be, we be wild. Back, Last week we talked about eating ass. Listen. I feel like every oh episode we revert back to eating no ass. Shit. Talking about fucking with trans people. Motherfuckers with those shit. All right, well, hey. we, gonna, we, um, what you was going to say? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay, so we I was going to say, we got a special song. guest yeah, in the building. Yes, sir. So we're going to go ahead and get him to the hot seat over here. He got yep, the swivel yep, chair. Yep, we're going to go ahead and get his mic queued up for him. Yes, sir. Go ahead and get you a cup. You got your cup? Did we, right, I don't yeah, think we gave him no punch. disclaimer, though, Yeah, we, we about to go they ahead and give y'all the no disclaimer, disclaimer if y'all want punch. We are not responsible. Y'all ready? Uh-huh. For no stumbling. Mumbling, 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 baby, baby, or murder. murder. None of that. We, listen. Uh, I'm drink, so it's okay. You, everybody, oh, listen, God, listen. Everybody right. say that. Dig it up here. And I'm one cup going to take your ass down. Right. We telling you. Right. We, we telling you. It's the first one. We going to see. Tell, okay. We telling you. I, I, I ain't denying it. All I'm saying is we going to see. We, we okay. telling you. We telling you. So then that means, you feel me, don't babysit them, bro. I ain't trying to be one of them. I ain't trying to be one of them. But when niggas say that, oh, you know what? I drink. You going to get up here and get hot and be like this. Hold on. It's a little hot up here, y'all. These lights. Oh, oh. Nah, it ain't is the it? lights. Is it the that lights? Punch it your ain't ain't lights. <laughs> punch, he gonna get home later and shit and be like, man, listen, I'm just chilling, y'all. Feel like you're fighting. Right. Right. Feel like you're fighting. You're gonna be like, you gonna sleep good as hell tonight. Yeah. Like go home, like, I'm about to burn some calories. About to take me a nap. Let me just go ahead and spark this right here. This gonna bring me back. Yeah, that never that never works either. That shit never works. You be drunk and say, like, let me just smoke some weed, nigga. You about to be not the fuck. This should be having me worse. I'll be like, God. You ever go to sleep? You ever go to sleep and close your eyes and that motherfucking room start spinning in your head? You like, oh, gotta run to the bar. That's the fucking worst, bro. You be drunk, drunk. Listen, I was just gonna say, listen, that shit there. Oh my god, you be drunk, drunk for real. So listen. This is uh, is this your first time here at No Advisory? Yeah, it's my first time here. So listen, so you know they had an OG crew. Shout out to the OG crew, but you're, we the we the new you're. squad. What we okay. called again? We the bad kids. We're ISS. This is ISS. We this is ISS. ISS. I was in ISS, ISS a lot. Y'all niggas ain't get hit with a. I was in ISS, ISS a lot. It's lit. <laughs> Listen, we talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk about. We okay. say what the fuck we want to say. This Let's is get motherfucking into it. no advisory. Yeah. We got the punch going. We got yeah. the weed in rotation. Feel free to roll up. CB, yeah, yeah, have yeah. a good time. CBD. CBD. Mm. Not the CBD. 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 Definitely. Hella CBD. Yeah, CBD. Yeah, all the CBD. Yeah. All the CBD. Yeah. All the CBD. All the CBD. Capital C. Capital B. Capital D. Stop playing. Stop Delta 8. All the CBD. Delta 8, yeah. Hella Delta 8, nigga. All the legal shit. Good, all the hemp, all that shit. You know? Yeah, if y'all need it. I got Delta Eight for thirty five dollars an eighth. <laughs> I got 50 if you really want to get jiggy with it. Hey, yo. We got the different hey, the other eights on deck. Not 30 35. Y'all know where we coming. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Know hold how on, y'all. Hold on before they young thuggers. Hold on. Hold on now. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, all right. We, we talked you know to them anyway. Know that shit. So, okay, yeah. so here at No Advisory in the ISS squad, we got our own special way that we like to introduce people, right? We don't mm -hmm. introduce them with the born. Hey, what's up? Who you? Nah, fuck <laughs> that. We got our own special three questions that we ask. Mm -hmm. So you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. My bad. All I was right, trying to get right. We just want to know who you are. Okay. Where, where you from? from what's up? And, and what, what the, the fuck, fuck you do? do? Okay, okay. Oh, y'all said all uh, units for this shit. That shit was cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my, <laughs> my motherfucking name Rasta Rasta man. Big slime, favorite slime, king slime, all that good shit. Um, I represent Raleigh, motherfucking North Carolina, but I'm from the West Coast. I'm from California. You feel me? Um, but I've been in I've been in Raleigh since I was like third, fourteen, fifteen. You feel me? I'm thirty, so it's like. It's home, man, you feel man. me? It's half and half, oh, exactly. You like you like uh, Lipton, you like the, the ice team, man. Right, right, but really, <laughs> but really, you know what's crazy though is like it's hard for me. Like whenever somebody be like, "Where you from?" I never know how to answer it because I moved around so goddamn much and I got so much. Like I drew so much from so much different places. Like I spent all my summers in New York. Like from the time I was like a kid to the time I was like nineteen. I spent like three years in Atlanta. I spent two years in DC. You know what I'm saying? I've been so everywhere. Dance, you know, you don't live in all the hot spots. Yeah, you, right. you picked that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Elementary school. That's funny. Like. Is that what? Right. I went to elementary school in California. Where you graduate high school at? Raleigh. Then you from Raleigh. You from Raleigh. Raleigh. Oh, okay, ah. all right. Is that, that really how it go? That's settled. Is that really how it go? That's settled. You graduated high school from from Raleigh. Yeah. From Raleigh, oh, how, many okay. years, how many how many years of high school did you do in Raleigh? Three. You definitely from Raleigh. Yeah. Uh, 
three. I came no, here. No, no, he no, did no, one year. No, when I, I came here, when I I did fresh, I uh, saw so I when I uh, when I was a freshman in high school, I was in Portland, which is above California, which is in Oregon, and then I moved here when I was what fifteen. So I was going into being a sophomore when I moved here. Okay. So then I did sophomore, mm-hmm. junior, senior. Yeah. You said Portland. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. So gang. which I city? But every summer, hey, everywhere. everywhere York, bro. But yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Summer and shit. Four, four, summer and so summer. four months out of the year, we was in New York. It wasn't. It was longer than the whole summer. We never even stayed like to finish school. Like my mom would be like, "Oh, now y'all going to New York, and we'll be out." Like oh, me no, and my sister. Smart as hell. Yeah, you know I what know, they can I do. Know, any work yeah. Yeah. Need, need yeah. Go to summer. Damn. Yeah. I need oh, and what the, the fuck I do is the last question, right? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. do every motherfucking thing, man. No cap. But uh, really, you know, I, I'm the nigga with that music. You know what I'm saying? Best music in the city. If you ask about me, you know what I'm saying? Um, but also I do content creation. I do events. I do festivals. Um, I do a lot of platforms for other musical artists, like to showcase their shit. I'm all about like you know bringing the next nigga up too, because I feel like there's enough out here for everybody. For hey. me. There's enough. There's enough for everybody to eat and also you know what i'm saying helping someone else to see don't take away from nothing i'm doing in my opinion so right. um i'm all about that teamwork you know what i'm saying and, and doing the right shit but you know when it comes to popping my shit i do that too so yeah so i, I want to i'm sorry Go ahead. no i just want to know like going back to like where you from you're which city or which state do you feel like shaped me the, the most? most i knew you was gonna ask you that not yeah. as a and not as an artist but as, as a, a person man. yeah mm-hmm. fuck bro I can't really say one for real. Like, I know certain things about me come from certain cities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, like, I know, like, okay, like, when I get, if I get really upset, I sound like a California nigga. Like, you feel me? The accent come out. You know what I'm saying? Still but like yeah, all that shit for <laughs> real. Like all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It just vibe, yeah, it just it just maneuver different. You know what I'm saying? When I dealing with some trap shit, like I did a lot of my trapping shit in in Raleigh. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying? I get that shit from the R. So it's just like. I did a lot of like the music in DC. I did a lot of the music in Atlanta, so a lot of influences from that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I draw a different shit from different places. You feel me? But I definitely yeah, feel sure. like I definitely feel like it helped me though. I definitely can relate to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I could walk in a room and and relate to anybody in there. You feel me? Because a lot of niggas be like, "Oh, I'm from the South. I don't fuck with West niggas." And I be like, "Well, we can talk that Southern shit too, nigga." Yeah. yeah. And they be like, "Oh, well, uh, you know what I'm saying?" They be like, "Oh, well, I'm a West nigga. We're like, oh, we can talk that West shit too." So yeah. Definitely. So you live in Charlotte now? No, I live in Raleigh. Okay, so you live in Raleigh. So we came out here just for y'all. Oh, and listen, we feel it. special. Yeah, me and the squad really came down here just for y'all. y'all. Hopping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, none of them driving, nigga. Hey, 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 you know, you know what it is. Yeah, well, none of them driving, nigga. Hey, hey, hey. He driving, I'm rolling. Yeah. Listen, we can't, hey, how we going to do this? Okay? Yeah, right. know. Can't, let, you go down down can't let the woman drive. Yeah. yeah, that's my DJ right here. This motherfucker, DJ hey, J. Shout Mar. out. Shout out. That's my manager, Ferry, right there. Okay, this is, man, this is Fire food, Eats. Oh. If you ever need some fire food, this is my merch lady, too. Yeah, all the edible gummies, all that good shit. And this Kane, the director, you feel me? She shoot videos, she shoot a whole hey, bunch of hey. shit, model, all that good hey, shit, dance, like every fucking thing. Right there, right there. Multi talented, you feel me? Everybody. So this, your, this the team? This the team. This like half of it, you half feel me? It. Like we couldn't get everybody to come important. because you know right. shit be happening. But you know, yeah, it's like half of it. It's, it's, like, nine, it's so like nine or ten, ten of us. So yeah. how important is your team? You feel um, me? The team is everything, bro. The team is everything. I feel like. I feel like the only reason why I get in emotion with my shit the way I am now is because I got the right people around me. And I feel like it took a long time to get the right people. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. if you if you knew me, like, four years ago, it was a whole different group of people I was around. You feel me? Like, if you knew me four years before that, a whole different group of people I was around. You feel me? And, like, yo, you know, like, your network is your network for real, yeah. for real. You feel mm-hmm. me? And, like, it's important to have good people around you and not just people that, like, are, are popping or not just people that are popular but people that are good people you feel me because at the end of the day this shit don't always go right Thanks. you feel me you know what I'm saying no matter like even a trip to Charlotte that shit could go wrong you don't want to be stuck in no car with no nigga you don't fuck with you know what I'm saying or no nigga that That's a long or, drive or, or no nigga that don't think somebody. like you or ain't gonna understand your mentality or ain't gonna understand what you're trying to accomplish you know what I'm saying you don't want to be around nothing like that so like now I feel like the motion I'm getting is just because like I got 
nine, ten people that's like I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I call, I know they coming. You know what I'm saying? So it's just Somebody like that. Said, I seen I seen a uh it was a speech, nigga say people think they need a hundred thousand people to take over the world. No. Like, four, five bad yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. Four, five, five, five bad motherfuckers, motherfuckers. we're gonna take this bitch it's over. It's really it's really about it's really about the vision and having people that are unselfish. You feel me? It's Damn. like it's like having people that are know they stars but are able to still support you. A lot of people ain't able to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on my team have their own shit and their own right. But when it's my show, everybody know they on support. You feel me? When it's my DJ show, everybody know they on support. You feel me? And when it's time for you to be the star, we going to support you. You know what I'm saying? But people don't be thinking like that you feel me everybody want to be in the front all the time you know what i'm saying that's why this shit so divided and so wicked how it is but egos yeah but we you know what i'm saying yeah Yeah. people don't have roles for themselves and when people don't have roles for themselves it's kind of like she doing what she do right her not being necessarily in front of the camera right now you dig what i yeah. mean, ain't taking away from what she really does that right she exactly exactly she really do you know what i'm saying exactly people like i'm doing this and everyone knows this is what i do i rap boom the manager, this nigga wants to manage. Yeah. So just understand he's doing what he wants to do or she's doing what she wants to do. Right, right, right. I want to direct. I'm doing what I want to do and having everybody For on the sure. team. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And be like, uh. So then, like you say, you pouring today. It's time for you. It's time yep. for you. Feel me? Yeah. The team just move as one and then y'all yep. real the community type shit. And, and, network. and you feel me? It's all about streams of revenue, too. You feel uh-huh. me? Like, uh-huh. if if I, if I have six seven people around me and they all do three things you feel me that's what like you feel me and when it's time that like oh i got an idea where i want to do some big shit or i'm like oh i gotta like i need money you know what i'm saying for an idea everybody like yeah because when it was time for their idea i helped them you feel me when it was time for them to move i did it you know what i'm saying and everybody in this room could attest like the type of nigga that i am like the first time they was around me i put money in their pocket that's how i am you feel me like if i believe in you i'm gonna invest in you day one you feel me and like and i'm only like that because like y'all said like of all the different places i've been to nobody did that shit for me you feel me like nobody you're the person you needed yeah Mm -hmm. nobody did that shit so it's like when i see people that are talented like i am and it's like damn like damn ain't nobody fuck with you like for real like you know what i'm saying like we all know people like that where it's like damn like why ain't niggas on you like what the fuck like i'm gonna i'm gonna feed into that shit because i want to see it grow you feel me like i said there's enough room for everybody you know what i'm saying there's enough room for everybody that's it everybody need ten thousand fans that's it Thanks. right that's all it take think about how many people in the world billions well uzi said it took him two years yeah mm-hmm. niggas Man, need ten thousand fans face. that's it for real. And you be set forever. Yeah. I got ten thousand yeah. six hundred followers, but I don't know if all them fans. Don't yeah, yeah, nah, nah. You gotta have, yeah, you gotta yeah, have ten thousand spending fans, fans yeah. like spending yeah. money spending fans. Yeah. yeah, that's so what it is. How do you feel like your speaks. reaction and kind of like your your network has been with the artists in Raleigh? Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you really want uh, uh, really to say? Yeah. 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 Say them niggas suck. If them niggas nah, 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 nah. We not even gonna get into that. Okay. What first? <laughs> yeah, we not even gonna get into that because we can get into that, but we not gonna get into that. <laughs> so, first things first. I love my city. That's what I'm gonna say off gate. You feel me? Before I before this punch start kicking in, I start saying what I wanna say. Nah, 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 nah. Chill, 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 chill. You yeah. Oh yeah, you ain't even shot because you already not giving out the details. Boys, right? Listen, we really over here. We really got the real shot for you. Listen, what y'all trying to listen? <laughs> yeah. Cause he thought he was gonna be I mean, out that question. Put it like this: We ain't saying, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hold oh, up, oh, we gonna clear it up though. We ain't saying, I guess, talk shit, but pop your shit. You yeah, feel what I'm right. saying? And your don't shit, you feel that. me? And what you experienced as an artist in your city, right? Trying but to get first off, I gotta say, artists, first off, I love my city. That's number okay. one. Okay. You feel me? That's number one. I gotta show love to my city. There's a lot of niggas that I fuck with in my city. You feel me? Like, yeah. But the main thing that I hate about Raleigh is like bro like i'm just talk, like we were talking about earlier like the support is just bro that like that shit is the one thing that i don't get like niggas niggas in raleigh feel like if you support one nigga you can't support another nigga you feel me like oh if i'm on his scene then i can only go to his show i can only wear his shit i can you know what i'm saying i'm like why to is me, that? I don't that, know, bro. Just Raleigh, that's yeah. a lot of places. It's, no, I, I know it's a lot, a lot of places. Of you feel me? Do you but feel like that's I can only speak Raleigh on my more city. Of a HBCU type of town, like you know, you got Durham, Raleigh. Like, do you feel nah, like niggas like that because niggas is insecure. Mm-hmm. 
and niggas is, is weak. That's what it is. Bro, no, I'm telling you, right? This is my thing. This is my thing. In Raleigh, right? In Raleigh, say you got 30 niggas that rap, right? Them 30 niggas is going to be divided into like six clicks, Thanks. right? Okay. And then six clicks out of them, six clicks, maybe two of them is cool. And the other three don't fuck with the other one. Like, that's how it go. Mm. And and it's all through the city like that. You feel me? So me being a person that's like, bro, I want everybody to come and I want everybody to perform. You start booking niggas and niggas like, oh, nah, I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to fuck with him. I ain't going to perform. If he performing, I ain't going to do this. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's Shit don't make no sense. Like, you blocking a bag because you and your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You blocking a bag because you hurt or you insecure. You feel like this nigga hotter than you or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is just weak to me. Like, that's the one thing I don't like. Like, even so, boom. We got a show that we do weekly. Me, me and my DJ right here. You feel me? Well, we got a few shows we do weekly, but. Oh, we got a show we do that, weekly though. that was supposed to be tonight, you feel me? Obviously, I couldn't come because I'm here, you feel me? Appreciate, but, um, appreciate you for taking the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, well, yeah, we'll get into that in a minute, but let me finish what I was saying before I lose track of my, <laughs> <laughs> my thought. But, um, but, yeah, so we do a show, like, every Wednesday or whatever, and today, like, you know, we got a group chat with all the artists or whatever, so we was talking, da da da, and, and one of the niggas in there, my nigga Lil Groove, shout out Lil Groove in Raleigh, um, he was like, is y'all gonna be for real today or y'all gonna be on that Hollywood shit? That's what he put in the chat, you feel me? And it, mm. and that's just, that just goes to show you, like, I'm not the only one saying this type of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm making it up or I'm like, or I'm like hating on other people. Nah, niggas really be acting like that. You feel me? Like, nigga, like the show show the show started at eight. Niggas want to show up at ten thirty. Boy, don't we know? Glasses on, don't waiting know. outside. Boy, music no, on, no, but do. but they want to keep all their people outside until they go inside until they perform. They don't want to, you know. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, what I'm the show the show started at eight. I'm there at eight. You feel me? Even if I go on at ten thirty, even if I go on at eleven, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm there mm -hmm. because right. why not, bro? They don't want their people to be like, oh, he hot. Too. Yeah, that's what I was. That's that weak shit like, though. I'm like feeling like that like nigga, but it's kind of like shit. <laughs> that's that weak shit. That bitch already like, waiting on you, gang. Right. Like, what's going on? Yeah, let him know. And you only, and you only, um, hurt yourself because for real, no cap. I done got more fans off of conversations than I have off of music. Man, what? Uh, it's all like, about the network. I done got I done got yeah. more fans. Tools, dude, I done got I done got more fans after off of being at a show and talking to the nigga next to me. Nigga ain't even never heard my music. He might he might follow me right now. He might go buy a shirt right now. You feel me? But it's like niggas don't want to do that though. Niggas so caught up in the image and so caught up in like, oh nah, I'm gonna be on the nigga on the stage with all the bitches and all the chains and all the lights and, and you know what I'm saying? Like all that weak shit. You know what I'm saying? I I ain't about that, you feel me? Like I I'm too real for that. Like Nah, man. Mom so still in the projects. Yeah, like niggas still for what, change. bro? For what, still bro? In the projects broke with no life. For what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly I, I though. For real. Churches, baby. For real. Why today nothing left? So I'm while we on the oh, subject God. of like artists, yeah. we're gonna segue. Like, what type of artist would you classify yourself as? Shit. I call myself a, a genre bending artist. That's what I call myself. You sound you like an avatar, me? nigga. What that means? Right. Gen genre, genre bending means yeah. like. Shit, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Damn. I'll be bending genre. Yeah, genre <laughs> bending is just like, you know what I'm saying? Depending who you are and depending how you listen to music, like you might hear a lot of shit in my shit. You feel me? Because, like, just to, just to tell y'all a little bit about my background, like, I, I was new to rap, you feel me? Because my parents is Caribbean, so they immigrants, you feel me? They not from here, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, I didn't grow up. a little bit backward in the pit from pole to pole. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> like exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, you already know, you already know. <laughs> But that's that, that rich skin. That you already know, yeah, yeah. I'm inside the mother, but trying to call my, uh, my, my dad from St. Vincent, mom from Trinidad. Mm. Yeah, so so okay. I ain't never. I only started hearing rap when I hit like nine years old. When I started being outside and shit. Like before that, it was straight reggae. Before that, it was straight like oldies. Like my mom only played like Anita Baker, Temptations. Mm. Like, that's what she was on. That's what I grew up on, you feel me? And then when I started hanging out with niggas outside, I was like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard that shit before. And that's what put me in the rap. But, like, my background for music is, like, music music. It's not 
rap. You feel right. me? My first instrument is piano. I played the drums. I was learning violin. I learned guitar. Like he skipped a generation. And, and then no. he was with them old niggas. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My parents is old as fuck. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm well. <laughs> my parents is old as fuck. I love my parents, but they old. We got you to shout your peoples out. You said what? But I'm just saying. You they know. In that sense, they know. Was they know. It sounded like you was musically inclined. I'm the head of my mother. This makes your mama know. They know. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But it sounded like you was musically inclined. My mama inclined. a G too, man. She don't take it as no disrespect. But it sounded like you was musically inclined, like playing all these instruments. Was that prior to you starting music, or did you do pick that up like when you started? Like, no, I've always been musically inclined. My dad had a reggae band when I was growing up, so he mm. played everything already. My dad played guitar, sax, piano, drums. Well, whatever you can name. Yeah, he yeah. played every he fucking played thing. So, so no. yeah. No, so no, before no, I even man. heard a record, no, yeah, I was I was playing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like my my first few songs like that I wrote was just piano and, and me rapping like yeah. while I was playing the piano. You know what I'm saying? That's lit as fuck. Yeah, and I was like I was like ten years old. No, I appreciate like natural beats like music like band, yeah. like, drums, saxophone. Oh, y'all gotta come to the show like, then. I perform over. with I perform with a full band. I, that's why I fuck with Rod Wave. No, yeah. no back. Like Rod Wave. All band. If you fuck, if, if you go that's to a Rod Wave concert, he got a full band. Like he he got a band in the background. Like I that's. Yeah. Like I perform all band, no backing vocals, none of that shit. Just me and the band. Mm. Yeah. That's so uh, y'all gotta pull up. And we got a show in, in Charlotte, come to Charlotte pretty soon. Ooh. So I'm gonna let y'all know yeah, when. We, 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 we ain't secured a date yet, yeah, but And we got a training day on Friday. Yeah. Too. Friday. Hosted by the Lady Girls. Up. Okay, okay, it's okay. About, What's yeah. that? It's an open mic showcase. Okay. Um, yeah. Our purpose is like to to help artists hone in on their skills. Right. So to increase yeah. their comfortability when they're on the stage mm -hmm. to get get them better mic etiquette Give to that confidence like, like yeah. what a show Breathe. track really little is little training right. yeah, little like training yeah. yeah and then yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of dope listen and for a seasoned of, artists it's one of those stage, places to everything. where you come and I want to you want I, I want to see what this vibe is outside yeah. the studio room. And then there's yeah. a lot of perks for and training in night too. And we got hella per we got a lot of perks. So you feel what I'm saying? And it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm weak as well. I promise okay. you. Yeah. You but, feel me? but when we do a show here, y'all gotta come do a live podcast oh, for the oh, show. Yeah, for oh, sure. Sure. We can set that's up. what that's yeah. what I'm talking about. You want now? You want no advisory or you want the ISS crew? I want y'all. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I want some wild shit. Yeah. Because if like you, because show me is different than like talking me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I be lit, lit, like for real. I be like six, seven drinks in, you know what I'm saying? Man, listen, oh yeah, hold we on. Can, we can, we can get this out. I, I pick. Uh huh. Oh, we don't. We don't record. Uh, what you got speaker. up to the camera? We can't hold up to the camera. That's you on the guitar? Uh, or, nah, oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we ain't gonna go through too many. We got you. Grown folks shit. So you. how is the relationship with no your more. band like in that vibe, especially when you're performing with a live right. band? So how like I that? so like I said, it took me a long time to meet the right people, right? Mm -hmm. the, the band is is a is an example of that. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my keyboardist in the band, I've known him for maybe twelve years, mm -hmm. thirteen years probably. And like we always seen each other, we always ran into each other like randomly in passing. And he shoot videos and shit too. So like whenever I see him, I'm like, come shoot this video. He'd be like, all right. And then we would do it and then that'll be it. And I want to see him again for like a year. Uh, but we always stayed in contact. So he played keys for me. My guitarist, I know him for like seven years. You feel me? I, I met him like at a show one time and we did like one song together, like on some improv shit, like on stage. And we've been like, you know, talking, kicking it ever since then. And my drummer, I know him since I was 17, since I was in high school. We met in high working. school. You feel me? Like. And and then and then my bassist he came to me because my uh, guitarist girlfriend and his girlfriend are cool. Mm. And then it was like, oh, I know a bassist, and then that was it. You feel me? So all that shit came together naturally. You know what I'm saying? That but was God. this Man, ain't that was God. this ain't that my. Was that was God. And also, this ain't my first time trying to have a band. You feel me? This mm. is probably my third one. But mm. this time it worked out. But every Probably time, every other time, it was error. like some shit happened. This person fall out. This person start coming to rehearsal. This person, you know what I'm saying? Every but time. this time it like stayed together. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like it's just the timing, the timing and right. having the right people. Like oh, that's that's, that's is the world. You feel me? And like, persistence, because you could have easily gave up when everybody else start falling off. You like, man, fuck this shit. I'm gonna do this shit by myself. Right. Nah, you I'm that nigga. I can't do that. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's that persistence <laughs> yeah. too, man. That, that's speak a lot on your character, my boy. Oh, yeah. God, cause you learn from your mistakes. You right. feel what I'm For saying? Sure. You easily yeah. gave up. A lot of people easily give up. You dig what I'm nah, saying? But people gotta understand shit. when you don't building, see the vision. when you building a brand, you are a brand. You feel me? So when you're building a brand, you feel me? Sometimes it don't work out, but it's yeah. that trial and error. It's that consistency. Yeah. You feel me? It's that persistence. Like but I mean, you gotta look at every brand that exists now. That shit was. 
was not always hot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like when I was younger, we used to we used to clown Apple. We used to clown Max. You remember when they had the Max in the class? We were like, what yeah. the fuck is a big ass computer with this big ass back with a different color on that Mama shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Project. And that was like I the biggest. Right. And that was the that biggest thing. Had a nice little way. ass back there, dude. Yeah. That motherfucker. They had a booty me down computer. Yeah, yeah. They that had green, that motherfucker. Blue, cheeked up on a Wednesday. Monday through Friday. Double, Yo, yeah. Double cheek on yeah. a weekday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. But I just feel like if you stay down, you're going to get your shine. You yes. feel me? It's just like, sure. and I always and I always think like, what about today was the day? You know what I'm saying? What about today was the day I popped and I gave up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how much I'm going to live with that? So I just keep going. You feel me? You never know. Yeah, you never know. So I just have one more question. So I have What's to ask up? my signature question. If you could use three words to describe who you are as a, hmm, should I say artist or person? Person. I mean, person. Okay. What three words would you use? As a person? Yep. Um, wise. Mm-hmm. Um, when you introduce yourself, what you what you introduce yourself as? Rasta. Three words that describe Let Rasta. Let him finish the question. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just want to, that's him. That's him. I just want to make sure who, who he is. He, uh, but um, you're describing Rasta right now. Yeah, wise. Um, uh, a father. You already know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 My son, my son, my son, my son birthday is tomorrow. Yo, 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 yo. My son birthday is tomorrow. Yes, sir. He turned eight be tomorrow. Yes. His son birthday tomorrow too. So you feel me? Black fathers out here for real, for real. Black fathers matter. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And uh, and uh, creative. Ooh, I yeah, like that. Wise third. father sure. and creative. Now, see, so. see, I, you, I got one question. So you got a campaign out here, look. You know what I'm saying? Slime and slag. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? What's that about though? You feel me? How that come about? So, just a name. So hey, I was look because I gotta get into the name. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, slime and slag is just um. A saying that me and my homies used to say uh <clears throat> RP Po, one of my OGs or whatever. But Slama so just mean like when shit get real or like when it's time to stand on what you believe in, is you gonna is you gonna really do it or you gonna slide off? Like hey, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like is you gonna stand on your law. Yeah, is you gonna stand on all that shit you, you was talking about in the back nigga. room? You know what I'm saying? When it's out here in the front or you or you gonna run to the back again, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it's about. So it's just about being loud and being bold and being you, you feel me, and not backing down from shit and being persistent, you know what I'm saying? Being what you talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being what you talk sheet. about. Slime and slime. Yeah. Because you know yeah. no, a lot of niggas like to say one thing and then move another way or like tell you one thing and then do another thing. So it's just like, nah, we not doing that. You feel me? Like Yeah. I fuck with that, like mm-hmm. the name, the campaign, the meaning behind it. Oh God. Um, I I really wish like more people was hip to that. Yeah. And yeah. kind of like, I don't want to say hop on that bandwagon, but yeah, stand people on that shit. People or, don't or care about that. People, way, people like, don't care about that though. Don't want to be out there. People not. People real. don't care about they that. They just want yeah. that image so bad, man. Yeah. You feel they what don't want what come with that. That shit a disease, my boy. That shit a disease, my boy. To want something you don't know about, that shit a disease. Yeah. That shit not natural, bro. I understand if you want to be big dog, man, that shit gonna come with it if you go down. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But also, you know what I'm saying? You also take that shit to the chin and come back. <laughs> these niggas gotta understand if you supposed to be the leader, you supposed to be big dog. That shit, you Everybody you you chosen, you chosen, you get chosen. You don't put yourself Some in that this, position. You, feel me? Still you get chosen. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if niggas ain't coming to you to lead them, you not no leader, nigga. You feel me? That and that's at the end of the day, like. And just understand. You don't want to accept that. You feel me? At the top, man, you you probably a solid one, but some of them, some of them, man, listen. If niggas ain't never called you like, big dog, I'm in the jam, what I do? Right. I'm I'm dealing with this with my old lady, what I do? Mm -hmm. I don't know what about to do with with my little ones, what I do? If niggas ain't never called you like that, man, you ain't no leader, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah, you a part, you a part of the pack, which is cool. Be ain't that though, yeah, be that though, because there ain't no leaders yeah. without no packs. You feel me? Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Understand? And, and every leader, every leader derived from the pack. You can't mm-hmm. be a leader without mm-hmm. fucking yeah. learning. Yeah. Learn yeah. how to be yeah. a leader. Leader is the best pack, nigga. That's all it is. You feel me? Been through that. The pack, nigga, that got promoted. That's what the leader is. You feel me? Like exactly potential. So we only mm-hmm. got like a few more minutes here. So I want to go ahead and get into it because we in about to be in July. Six Yerp. months is down. Yerp. 2022 is halfway Yerp. done. Cancer season is up. Yerp. Fuck cancer season. <laughs> 
I'm gonna the, say Big Gemini. Time? See, you, you just left. I'm sorry. Big I'm a I don't know. I don't left. know either. Yes. It's Leo. Whoa! Why did you disrespect me like that? I, I feel Leo. like you are a Pisces. Why would you disrespect me like that? <laughs> no, 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 a Libra. A Le- Why would you disrespect me? Like that? I'm a Libra. So are, are you a Scorpio? Male, male Libras are different. If are you a Scorpio? Libras. No, I'm an Aries. You're, that's why you act like it. Oh. Uh, that's why you act yes, like that. Exactly. Okay. Oh, no. Made a lot of sense. Exactly. I need to do my research. Male Aries. Right. Yeah, that's why I no, pop my no, shit no, like no. that. Big motherfucking fire energy. Oh you already know. You already know. So I you know. already know, like, nigga. What can we expect from you <laughs> as like an Aries. artist in the next like six like, months? Like yes. Aries. Um. So I took a little break. I was dropping music. I ain't dropped a new song in like two months. I used to. I used to drop every Wednesday, and I did that shit for like a year. Ooh. And then like, and then I went back to like dropping sparingly, and then I took like I haven't dropped a new song in like two months. So spent a lot of new music in a, new, in a few months. Uh, a lot of more events. I got a painted sip coming up in July. Ooh. I got a few. I got a few uh like unplugged factory sessions going on in Raleigh uh during July and August. I got a concert that I'm doing August 12th. I got a show in Fayetteville September 10th. A show in Charlotte September 24th. So I mean, you know what I'm saying? Tap then got another show in, and I do the Slimy Fest Festival every year in Charlotte in November. You know what I'm saying? So we are gonna do that again in Ooh, November. Oh, that's my birthday month. It's lit. November 10th. Oh, it's a, it's on the 11th. 11 oh, 11. Oh, yeah, now. That's what yeah, it's, a, it's 11 it's 11 20. 11, 11. Yeah, 11 it's 11. Now. It's always y'all 11 11 every year. You y'all feel me? Now. Y'all got media and shit. Y'all got cameraman and shit. Bro, pull up. I'm just okay. Bro, man. pull up. My man's back there right there. Bro, if they if they okay. with y'all, just tell them pull up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Anytime anytime I'm in Charlotte, if y'all want to pull up, just pull up. For sure. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, just a lot of new music, a lot of new events. You know what I'm saying? More merch. I'm dropping some more clothes soon. All that good shit. I got a line of do rags coming out pretty soon too. So you know. Yo, I'm so I sad. I missed do rags. I see got the silk do rags. Yeah, Charlotte. Every year Charlotte has a do rag. Hold on, hold on. Every year Charlotte has a do rag. I got a pink one too, though. I be wearing a pink one. I got every color. I got fifty. I got fifty-two do rags. Fifty-one do rags. Listen, every year Charlotte has a. one for every state. I think got a souvenir from every state. It's there was a do rag. Every year Charlotte have a do rag fest. Next year you gotta come. I know. So I went to the first one, right? I went to the very first one. It was lit. But lit. then I stopped Love. going after that. I don't know why, that's but I went to the first one. It was lit. I'm so sad I missed it this year. Yeah, it looked like yeah. it was lit. It was, it was packed was, the fuck out this year. Yeah, see, I it don't know, packed. man. All you the niggas do something outside. Like that in Raleigh. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe. That I know the people that organize that shit too. So. Yeah, you got the formula. You got we the sauce. See. We gonna see. Work a little. Work oh, magic. matter of fact. I need y'all like either shipping address or somewhere that I can send a box to because I need to send y'all some clothes. I got a whole bunch of merch. I just need y'all sizes and shit and the smiling, address. Yeah. What's my size? Small huh? shirt. You wear size. Can you fit a small shirt? Yeah. I got this is my merch. I can. I, can I use some of this? Yeah, for hey. sure. For sure. For sure. Shout out to immature. For sure. For sure. Hey. 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 But make sure. So hey. Hey. before we leave, just make sure my manager got y'all sizes no and y'all address hey. so we can send you a box for sure. Fellas, no homo. <laughs> so I have a question. So what's up? <laughs> You're not signed with the label or anything, right? Fuck You're no. independent. So Fuck no. Fuck them labels. You, if you don't pay- sign to nobody <laughs> okay. ever. Don't sign. Okay, so why, what was your perspective on that? Because why? Anybody that asks me why would I sign a label, tell me why I should sign to a label. If right. you can't answer that question, then it's like, I mean, because this is my thing, right? This is my thing, right? Yeah, I'm about to say, what no, if they gave you a thing, right? Right? Nah, This is my thing, right? We got this listen, for your ass. Listen, listen, listen. listen. So I've had, I've, I've had a label offer in before. Point. So I'm not talking out my ass. I've had a label offer before, and I turned that shit down. So I'm not talking out my ass. It was you know what you said I, had a, I had a label offer at Atlanta for $250,000 when I was, what, 19? So I'm not I'm not saying this like, oh, fuck the label down because it sound cool. Nah, I really, like, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because this is how I look at it, right? Remember how I said earlier I only need 10,000 fans, right? The reason why I say that is because my whole MO at the end of the day, not now, but maybe in like end of next year or so, uh, I'm going to develop an app for all my content. You feel me? So mm. like I told you all earlier, I don't just do music. I do videos. I do short film. I do interviews, podcasts, platforms, all that good shit. You feel me? Like if you go on my YouTube, it's like 82. It's like almost, almost like 100 videos up there and only like 25 of them is music videos. You know what I'm saying? So I do hella shit. So all that content that people are coming to my Instagram for that are hitting like 3,000, 4,000 views right now, all that shit, 
I'm going to take it off, you feel me? And I'm going to put it in one place that you got to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whether it's a dollar a month. But if I'm making a dollar off a month off of 10,000 people, how much money is that? That's $10,000 right. a month. And if I'm making and if I'm and if I'm making $10,000 a month after 3 months, how much money I'm going to have? $30,000. Mm-hmm. And if I have $30,000, right? But I could go to your advertisement deals. You and I'm not counting you right. I'm lowballing yeah. myself. You're Anytime I dream, you got to lowball yourself because Thanks. You got to be reasonable, right? So you got to say the worst possible scenario. 10,000 fans is low. You think only 10,000 niggas going to fuck with me? That's low. But you got to think of the worst possible scenario. My worst possible scenario is like 10,000 people, right? If I get 10,000 fans a month and then I go to the PR that the label hire, I go to the marketing people that the PR hire, I go to the goddamn agency that the labels hire, I go to the radio person. What the fuck I need a label for, bro? But it's like, it, it takes longer, though. You feel me? You might not pop to you 32. You might not pop to you 33. But look, I'm only going to have to be famous for like two years, nigga. You got to be famous that's for the it. rest of your life. Right. Yeah. You feel me? Like, they always like, say like, when you network, that's like networking can really get right. you to places. Because, to because at the end of the day, I'm a businessman. You think if yeah. I come up 240000 in two years, I ain't going to make enough money to feed my kids and my kids' kids forever? Right. Right. Nigga, Mom. you got me fucked up. Feel me? Right. You see what I, you know what I did on the street with? Two hundred dollars? You can be two hundred grand. What the fuck you think gonna happen, nigga? Uh, nigga I, we matched twenty. I made twenty dollars yeah. a week before. That's what I was saying. So it was just hey. like, yeah. Hey, Damn, well, shout guess. out to you. We appreciate Definitely big it. Shout out, bro. Thank you for coming through, my guy. Right, right, right. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, being Tell people where they can find you at. Too, you already know. Yeah. Sign out. Oh yeah, you can follow me on every motherfucking thing, on every app, every social media platform for at least another year or so. Like I said. <laughs> Uh, R S T A A S L I M E two Ys Rasta Slime. You know what the fuck going on? Hey, this was a fun ass interview. Right. Yeah, I fuck with y'all. Y'all cool, man. Y'all know this the ISS crew. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I done got fucked up off this punch. Yeah, and I'm lit. Little 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 we about to go to stay. You know what's crazy though? I really didn't even get y'all names. Oh, I'm trap seed. You definitely didn't introduce yourself. I'm classic Coco. Classic Coco trap. Trap seed. Oh, we, uh, hold on, time out. Crap. We about to sign out. We about to sign, sign the fuck out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey interrupt y'all. My fault, my fault. I mean, interrupt y'all. Go Bing ahead. bong. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's your girl, Trap C. It's your boy, Sleaze. It's the one and only classic Coco. And it's your boy, Mookie and Mature Man, rock star comedian of the city. Oops, not just the world. <laughs> rock star comedian of the world. Not just the city, <laughs> but the world. I'm local tonight, y'all. I'm local. Yeah.